Today's video is sponsored by GVG Mall, where you can get a Windows 10 serial key for only $17. And by using my discount code, you get a 20% off discount, making it even less $14. After the payment, you'll receive the serial key, and to activate it, just go to your Windows settings and introduce that same key. And voila! You have an activated system for only $14. Hello guys, I should gameplays, I'm Fabio Pisco, and welcome to my channel. So today's video is about the new RTX 3000 series cards that have been recently uh, shown, not in not performance wise but at least for for example the Dig digital foundry made a video with percentage percentage wise rtx 3080 versus the rtx uh, 2080 and the performance difference for example in games like control was from 70 to 80 percent which is almost double the performance which is insane this playing at 4k with ultra settings so it is really impressive. In Doom Eternal, uh, we have a RTX 3080 versus the RTX 2080 Ti, if I'm not mistaken, and it is a difference of 40%, which is insane, really, really insane. Uh, so these cards will be awesome. As for the social media, people have been praising Nvidia for a huge, uh, a huge leap over the the past generation in terms of performance, but they were also and they are also bashing AMD and I don't understand why seriously because if people remember correctly I'm saying this because people tend to have short memory um, but if people remember correctly people used to call and still call some of them used to call uh, Nvidia and Gridia and that was for a reason and this because Nvidia is still maintaining the MSRP price of the previous generation for example as for the case of the RTX 3070, it is $500 for $99. Um, so yeah, like I said before, Ngridia and as any company, they want to win money. Shareholders want money, people investing in the company want money, money returned. So yes, uh, every company works to make money, but Nvidia tends to be specialized in that. So let's take a look at, at the MSRP prices of the, the 70 series, for example. The GTX 770 had an MSRP price of $399. This because they were having competition, of course. Uh, then they released the 970, which cost, which reduced the MSRP to $329. So this was an architectural leap. And we actually had the 70 series at a lower cost, which is nice because they were having competition because the hype train of the Fury cards was really, really big, so they actually decreased the price. After that, we saw that the Fury cards were not that great and Nvidia had the lead in almost any price tag. So what happened is that when GTX 1070 was, was released, the price tag was once again 399. But well, against that, AMD still had the Vega architecture, which were direct competitors with the GTX 1070 and the GTX 1080, leaving the 1080 Ti with no competition. And so, with AMD having no top dog, being the GTX 1080 Ti once again the top dog and AMD could not reach it, what Nvidia did was to increase the price tag once again, and this time the RTX 2070 to $499 which was an increase of $100. Now, Nvidia wasn't quite expecting that the AMD released the, R the RDNA cards, but they did with the RX 5700 XT being their top dog, uh, not counting on the Vega 2, Vega 7, which has Vega 2 architecture. Not counting of, on that, of course, but they released that. And then Nvidia had already a backup plan in case that happened, and they released the 2070 Super at the same MSRP price, so once again for $99, but still $100 more than the GTX 1070. But well, we had $100 more, of course, but we also had more physical hardware power, we had more ops, more TMUs, uh, we had more performance, way more performance, physical performance than the previous generation. Now we have the RTX 
3070 that everyone is talking about and I myself will get one, no doubt, $500, uh, around 500 euros here, even with taxes. I, I will get one and I, for you to see that I'm really not uh, an AMD fanboy, you can call me, you can call me whatever you want, but I'm nothing but a fanboy of my own pocket. The company that gives me more for, for the less, I will get it. In this case, it is Nvidia for now. Now, on the RTX 3070, we have actually way more CUDA cores. RTX 2070 had 2,304 cores. This CUDA cores. While the 3070 has 5,888 cores, which is more than the double physical cores. As for the TMUs, the, the 2070 had 144 and the 3070 has 184, maintaining the ROPs in, all, uh, in both generations, so 64 ROPs, both for the 2070 and 3070. Now, I explained this all to reach this point. You can call me an idiot, but Nvidia is still Nvidia and, and they do not care much about the consumer, they want money they want your money like any company but they do it more capitalism nvidia g r e e e e e e e e e e e e d d d d d d d d d d d because they are the top dog amd is currently in terms of gpu they are the underdog nvidia is the top dog say so that they don't really care much about the consumer they want your money they want the best they give you the best for their money for your money i mean but what I mean with this is that if they knew that AMD would be no competition, they would price the RTX 3070 higher. Because I really don't believe, I really don't believe that um, the process manufacturing cost is actually lower than the previous generation because they have more physical units. Um, and I think the die size may be a, a bit bigger. I didn't actually saw it, but I think it is a bit bigger. Um, so. We have more cost for the die size, we have more cost for the physical units. So unless the Samsung 8 nanometers uh, process is actually way cheaper than the previous one, I don't see Nvidia doing this, doing the same price, uh, the same MSRP price, just out of kindness of their hearts. That doesn't happen in a company. So if they are maintaining the price or the process is really, really cheaper, the 8 nanometers, or they know that AMD has something coming up and they know that it is something actually good. And they are trying to kind of kill it before it is even born. That is my only that is only my opinion because we all know that company side, Nvidia knows a bit about what happens inside AMD, and AMD knows a bit of what happens inside Nvidia because they have they have people inside, I believe at least. Uh, that's how companies work nowadays, and they they uh, they did this uh, like across all of history. So I think it is still the same way how things work. So AMD knows about Nvidia. Nvidia knows about AMD. So if Nvidia knew that AMD had nothing nothing coming, sorry, um, they would be actually increasing the price since they have more physical units and the process, the manufacturing cost is actually higher i think so yeah i do not see nvidia doing this out of kindness of their heart so amd must be bringing actually pretty a pretty interesting thing with rdna2 uh, at least for what they are showing it is really interesting so yeah even if amd releases uh, a bigger and better and, and better card maybe the rtx 3070 will most likely be the most sold card uh, uh, at least for 2020, 2021, I have no doubts in that. So basically that's it, we all like competition, competition is good. Nvidia is indeed bringing some amazing cards for the price indeed. Uh, they are maintaining most of the MSRP prices while bringing a huge performance boost from the, the same series, for example, from the RTX 2070 to 3070 and from the RTX 2080 to 3080 they are bringing up to 80% difference, which is huge, huge. Uh, but they are still maintaining the prices, which leads me to believe that the RDNA 2 cards will be something pretty, pretty good also, that will at least, at least achieve the RTX 3080 performance. The RTX 3090 
Well, I don't really know, but Nvidia is doing this because they know the RDNA 2 cards will be good and they are most likely preparing uh, some TI versions or some super versions. That you can be sure. And well guys, this is all to say that the next few months will be really, really good in terms of, of GPU markets because the prices of the used GPUs will crash a lot because the new generation has uh, an amazing improvement in terms of performance so the prices of the used GPUs will crash a lot the prices of cards like Polaris cards like the GTX 1000 series will finally crash up to normal prices uh, in terms of performance the GPU market will be way better and we'll, we're, we're gonna have more Nvidia and more AMD GPUs which is awesome don't forget to hit like, subscribe and share this video. Let me know what you think about this topic in the comment section and I really hope you enjoyed this video. See you in the next one.